Hi everyone, welcome to Almapura Awakenings. I have a moment of awe I would love to share with you. It actually happened a few weeks ago and I've been meaning to try to get online and share it with everyone. But as you all know, I'm a medium, so heaven likes to chat with me and I of course love chatting with heaven. But I have a friend of mine and some of you that watch this Facebook, they, you all may know her, but her name is Carrie and she's a really good uh, friend of mine. Carrie lost her husband, um, Matt, in a motorcycle accident a few years back. And I had known Carrie through my sessions that I had with her after her father passed away. And when her husband passed away, uh, that's when Carrie and I really started to connect more often. And I think we took our client um, spiritualist relationship into more of a friendship. So, and knowing Carrie, I got to meet her son and I get to hear little stories about him. But um, James, her son, he was just a baby when his dad died. And so he didn't really get to meet him and get to know him in a physical sense. So children, they talk to heaven all the time. And so James, growing up, of course, he had connections with that spiritual or soul part of his dad. But as he's getting a little older and he's starting to be in school and everything, Carrie had sent me a text message a few weeks ago and he was, he, I guess James was um, trying to ask her questions about his dad and how he's a spirit or how he's an angel. And he asked a lot of questions about where his dad is. And so Carrie tried to explain to him that his dad is, had died you know, and that he was buried at the cemetery. And that kind of confused James because he wasn't, couldn't really understand how his dad could be buried, but yet at the same time be a spirit in heaven. And so Carrie had sent me a text message and asked if I had any advice that I could share with her that she could guide her son to recognize um, that process of transition. So I started to try to like come up with a few different um, things like there's a couple movies that are children movies that she could watch with her son to see if he could grasp the idea that when people go to heaven they're still near us and they're spirits. But I think what James couldn't grasp onto is that daddy's body was in the cemetery. So after a little bit of back and forth about, you know, between Carrie and I about text messages, I kind of took a moment and I thought, well, you know, I could ask his dad. So I said a little prayer and I asked God to connect me to Matt. And of course, Matt is always like Johnny on the spot for his wife and his son. So anytime I reach out to him to get any information for them or share a story or something with them. He's always present and available um, for them at my first request. He loves them a lot. They love him so much. And so Matt showed me some visions and kind of gave me some ideas. And one of the main things that he shared with me was he showed me a vision of a caterpillar and how the caterpillar has this life and that at some point, the caterpillar goes into kind of the cocoon state and then the caterpillar becomes a butterfly and when he shows me this he's like tell Carrie to tell that to James because James will understand what that means so I was like okay so then I was like that is a great way like what Matt said that is a fantastic way to explain to children about the transition from earth to heaven that the caterpillar doesn't die but the caterpillar turns into this beautiful butterfly so I was like so so in my mind you know I'm thinking okay well I'll just tell Carrie all right just teach him about butterflies like I and I told her I was like tell him all about butterflies I'm talking to Matt Matt said to tell him about butterflies and that he'll be able to grasp the concept of the butterfly you know how the caterpillar turns into the butterfly so I'm sending her this text message to, like you know you can find pictures on the internet go to the library go go buy a caterpillar and she sends me this response 
that says that James in school, they were raising caterpillars and that the caterpillars were ready to become butterflies and that the, when they did, they were gonna release them. So in school, James already knew about the caterpillars and how they turn into butterflies because he was able to watch the process of that transformation. So it became easier for Carrie to explain that we're kind of like caterpillars and when we become butterflies, we actually really become angels. And what I like about this is it's, it, it carries so many beautiful lessons. The first lesson is we don't die. We become angels. We become, we become the most beautiful representation of who we are. Number two, um, heaven talks to us and when we need heaven, they all respond. And that James's daddy is right there next to his, next to his, his mom and next to him and in school with him and like knowing what to tell me, to tell Carrie, to tell him because he knows James is gonna understand because he was with James at school. So I, that's like, I love that. And then third is the way that Matt and James and Carrie, that's like a trinity of love. And one of the most profound questions I think is how do we explain to our children the process of life to life. And I think that this has been a moment of my life that impacted me and I want to call it like my moment of awe and um, so I wanted to take a moment and share that with you all and if you all know Carrie or James then um, feel free to reach out to them because she can explain probably better than I can because I'm recounting but it's just been sitting in my brain so thanks for watching um, a moment of awe with uh, Amapur Awakenings love you guys bye